and welcome to the first episode of I Can Read! Yay! Now you're probably not thinking to yourself, why would I start making a book review show? Well, let me tell you why. I recently graduated from college with a degree in creative writing, and if any of you know anything about degrees in creative writing, then you know that pretty much all my degree is good for is making origami. And since I'm not good at making origami, I've decided that I might as well put my degree to a little bit of use and actually do something like review books on YouTube because why not? Now the first book I'm going to review is No Such Thing as Dragons by Philip Reeve. Now this book was published in 2009 and I found it at my local library in the junior section, <laughs> which I know what you're thinking, junior section, but you know, I promise it's actually a very good read. Now this is the first book that I've read from Philip Reeve, so I had no idea before getting into it what to expect. But what really drew me into this book was the main character, Anzal. Now Anzal is a mute boy, so I was very interested in how the author was going to portray that in the book. That's really what drew me into the whole thing, and that's really why I started to read it. Now this book gets off to a bit of a rough start. When I first started to read it, I didn't like it actually, and I really thought that it wasn't going to be very good. Um, I don't know really what it was about it, it just, maybe it's because it is a junior book, I just didn't really care for it at first. But then once I started to read it, I really started to like it. Now the book is about a man named Brock, who is a dragon slayer, who buys a boy, Ansel, as his assistant. Now since Ansel is mute, he can keep all of Brock's secrets, which Brock has a lot of them, which is something that I really like in this book, because as you read, all of his secrets get unfolded, and it makes the book that much more interesting. Now the author didn't make Ansel just mute for the heck of it, which is also something that I like. It's actually important towards the story. Now what really kept me reading this book was the description of the dragon. Now I know it says no such thing as dragons, but I promise that's not a major spoiler. It, it, there is a dragon that's, you know, his hand. Now technically the dragon is a wyvern, which is a descendant of the dragon, but the description of it is unlike something I have ever heard really in a book or movie or anything to describe a dragon. The description is very neat. It really describes it more of like the size of a small horse, and it really it's almost more like a bird than it is um, a, a lizard, which is really cool. I kind of just picture it as like a prehistoric mix between the two. And I thought that was very interesting. It's It's got more of a squished face than more of a snout. It doesn't breathe fire. It's got lots of feathers and like cool spikes on its tail. And I think that just the description of it is, it was very unique and I, I really liked it. Now another thing that really kept me reading this book was the fact that no details were really spared when it came to the carnivorous nature of the dragon. Now he does attack a lot of things in the book and it's actually pretty detailed. For a junior book I, I was not expecting that and I really liked that about it. Um, you know, I'm one who's really into as much guts and gore as possible and I think that this book had, you know, more than I expected and not a lot, I mean it's not too graphic for children or anything, but I mean it's it's just enough that it makes the book that much better that it's actually like, oh wow, this seems realistic and I can actually picture it and what it's doing in my mind. Now this book was a very quick read, which is another reason why you should all read it. Um, it's less than 200 pages and it took me just a few days to read it, but I mean I could have probably done it all in one sitting. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really quick, it's really good. Um, the story is good, the characters are good, and something else is that the ending was good, which I personally am horrible at writing endings, I usually don't like endings, but this had a really good ending. Um, it was funny, it was, you know, sad, it was, it was everything you want an ending to be, and I really liked that. So I think that this book definitely was great. <laughs> um, it was a lot better than I expected it to be, and I think that if you want a good fantasy, drama book, uh, this would, and that's funny, this would actually be a really good book to read. So probably check your library in the junior section. <laughs> Even if you're an adult, it's still good. Or I'm sure, I mean, you can find it online as well, and you could actually buy it if you wanted. Um, but if you just want to check it out, you know, I think that everyone should. So thank you for watching. Um, I suppose I should read it. Let's see, how about, we'll give it four dragon claws out of five. How's that? I think that's a good reading. So anyways, thank you for watching the first episode of I Can Read, and stay tuned for more. And if there's any books that you would like me to review, uh, leave a suggestion below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me. So thank you for watching.
Goodbye. And there's no light anymore. Cause I'm stupid and waited until 5 o'clock. And I don't have a light cause I'm poor. Okay.